What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? Guess what? We're having a breakout. You're seeing it. You're witnessing it right now. You might be asking yourself, what is going on with Terra Luna Classic? Well, uh, USTC is up about 37% right now. Uh, Lunk is up about 17%, I want to say, right now. And you might be asking yourself, like, what exactly is going on? We're going to break that down for you. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified. Anyway, um, Terra Luna Classic major move the impact of the osmosis fork on Lunk and USTC prices. As per the latest news, L1TF developer... Vin Wen uh, has forked the osmosis test tube to enhance astral port functionality and test upcoming upgrades, including an 800 million USTC burn. Remember that while it's still sitting out there, but now they come up with a function that will allow for this thing to burn. So the osmosis test tube fork serves a dual purpose, addressing the astral port fixes applied last month and then facilitating testing for the significant 800 million USTC burn contract migration. These steps are crucial for optimizing Terra Classic's liquidity protocol and stabilizing the value of USTC. Uh, that's going to make a big deal. It's 10% roughly of the supply of USTC right now. Going to be a big move, especially when broken off of the chain, because it doesn't change the fundamental uh, liquidity pool. Uh, the Terra Luna Classic community anticipates a positive trajectory, probably three zeros two coming pretty soon. Uh, it's a prob I'll give you the exact number in just a moment. Uh, Terra developer uh, Frag Fr Frack, uh, commented on the fork, highlighting the test tube's role in testing Astroport fixes and its broader application for testing contracts, especially Cosmosm smart contract. He emphasized the tool's significance in enabling seamless testing without the need for Go code streamlining the process. With ongoing development activities and staking, the Terra Classic community is optimistic. So uh, what do we see that's really going on here? Now, we don't really have a lot more news than that. Uh, we've got a lot of different uh, changes in rewards, repeal KYC. Um, th there's a lot of um, uh, th there's a lot of people complaining, stuff like that. Uh, the chain began to lose ground. Uh, the chain just broke out 30 to 40%. So remember, these guys are, are they don't have your better interest at heart. And look, what happens when you find out that, that one person owns multiple validators? Um, are they cheating the system? I mean, is that the case? That's, you know, that's what we're talking about and that's what we're looking at. And that's why this is such an important thing for this KYC. So, um, but now here you have a fully KYC uh, the developers and validators out here. So you have security, privacy, and protection still. And when I say privacy, remember, Certic is doing the KYC or somebody else is going to be doing the KYC. You're not. You don't know who those people are. Just in case something happens, there will be a back road for, we, for, for us to find out exactly who it is. But that leads us to price action. And as you can see right now, massive breakout up to uh, three zeros, 13,620. Uh, just happened a little while ago. USTC also breaking out to thir uh, 3.8 cents, uh, retracing back to about 3.7 cents right now. Broader market, still Bitcoin's market until something changes, right? But we saw this, this sort of uh, big move right now. Now we're going to see a little bit of profit taking but the important thing is let's zoom out a little bit and let's see where we go right uh the, and the important thing is this uh we got a couple of levels that we're going to have to address first one being 15 320 uh we're going to need to uh probably have a nice little bounce off of this range right here which if we're if we're pumping and it's a legitimate move then it shouldn't be much to see it come back in here maybe bounce around here uh you know you're looking for that impulse move and <clears throat> i don't want to get um um uh, I don't want to do the fib within a fib, but, you know, if we do that, then, you know, you're looking at a move right here. It's going to look something like this uh, with a move up here, probably a fib, a fib retracement down into this range right here. And then you're going to have a breakout here. We're going to get into that 18 range uh, doing the same thing. If this is if this is the path and we're on it right now and then you're going to see this move up here uh, to the 0.382 and that right there represents that's going to be the path of the, the resistance right there. That's the expectation of three zeros two. Now, if that is the case and that's what we're off to, uh, then there we are. However, it is possible that in this situation, because we're about to burn a significant amount of USTC and the the whole idea of a burn again sort of rises up, that might change the dynamic of what people are seeing that might change what people feel is possible in this move. So you might be looking at uh, something just shooting straight up like this happened over here for a couple of hours. Now, uh, look, notice that nothing that we're doing right now really resembles this kind of move. Like this was a very, very big uh, and very robust sort of 
pump over a couple of days. So and if this continues and this moves on, we've minted a higher low. Uh, and if we get the same sort of impulse move, then you know we got to at least consider uh, that we're having the same kind of breakout. Uh, and if we're having that same kind of breakout, then we take it from the impulse move, get kind of an idea of where we're looking at. And that puts us up here into this uh, four range, uh, three zeros, four range. How does that trend overall? Well, that actually goes along with a corresponding top uh, from our previous. So in the event that we're legitimately having this breakout, then, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, then, or maintained breakout, I should say, if that is the case, then here we are. This is this is what it would look like. Uh, and it wouldn't be anything to do. That's basically a 3x from, from where we are. So uh, a 3x does not seem to be that much, especially considering, you know, at some point this thing 100, 200x's and uh, we all start smiling, high-fiving, shaking hands, um, whatever it is that we do. So, you know, guys, just have a little patience. Watch this thing play out. Uh, we're looking for positive news. We're looking for positive stuff. Now, if you didn't already, by the way, go listen to my Rex YZ um, interview yesterday where we talked about what the repeg would look like uh, because it it's out there and it is being worked on. And there's a lot going on in the background that we don't know about. But the important thing here is, number one, let's get some tokens burned. Number two, uh, let's get some developers over here. Let's make it easy for them. One of the prohibitive costs, by the way, is that burn tax. Also, uh, there is... Uh, a rumor going around about some additional burns that might be potentially happening, but we'll let you know about that uh, at a later time. A lot of things happening right now in Luna Classic land. So um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And um, it's not financial advice, my name is Beliefs, and uh, we'll talk to you very, very soon. Uh, there's a lot going on, so we probably got a lot more to cover. And in the next coming days, weeks, months, uh, I'm probably going to be presenting a lot more about the Luna Classic community. I've had some conversations with some people, and you know, there might be a path forward here where we can really start to to profile and highlight some of the people working on projects around this ecosystem. Uh, but until then. Uh, we will talk to you again very, very soon. We have a giant update from Cryptonomy.Finance, guys. Brand new website, Solana. I'm going to earn 26 Solana for this move right here. About 2600 bucks. $2,600 for my Tether over here. Uh, the XRP, 2313 Again, these do not unlock for a long period of time. I'm not going to unlock until November, but... Uh, I'm going to have 0.99, one extra Ethereum. Don't know how much it's going to be worth at that time. You never know. Worth nothing might be worth a lot. 0.08 Bitcoin I'll have available at that point. 0.037 Bitcoin over here. And then 0.012 Bit. This launch pool. Now I'm locked in until November of 2024. You can see that my accrued interest so far, 57,281.92. Now you might be asking yourself, like, how are you earning this, uh, Blaze? It's because I signed up to Cryptonomy.Finance. I just put the money in. I gave myself a shot, gave it an opportunity uh, in the bull run. That's where the money gets made. So I'm going to let this ride for a little while. You let me know what you think.